Hello friends, this video is the first of the two-part sightseeing journey. Today we are starting from Hamburg and heading to Sagan, exploring the famous chalk cliff in Drucken Island along with the small town of Schaltnitz. Let's go! A bright sunny day is extremely encouraging to do something outdoors and have felt visiting the Rugen Island is a good idea for the day. Since there were no direct connections to reach the island from Hamburg and cycling around 300 km is a bit too much, opting for a train was the most obvious choice. Looking at the packed train compartments, I contemplated if I should have started earlier to beat at least some of the crowd. No kidding but it was so packed that people were sitting on the floor of the train and the conductor even asked one person to leave because his cycle was not parked in the correct spot. That's Germany for you. Rules are followed by the books without any exception. Anyway, so in order to reach Rügen, I will first change at Lübeck to a train which will bring me to Rostock. From there, I have a regional connection before finally reaching my stay location for the night at Zagad. During the ride, the sun kept playing hide and seek with the clouds, but the views were fantastic throughout. Rostock onwards was bright sun again which was rather reassuring. Rügen is Germany's largest island. It's known for its sandy beaches and chalk cliffs. With water all around inside, I quite enjoyed the bridge crossing before reaching Rügen. It reminded me of being on a ship again. The train was still rather full, but having this little friend called Bouncy show was entertaining. Due to the island's popularity over the years, it is easy to find accommodation at all prices and comfort levels. Holiday apartments are a practical and cheap way to stay as well. If you prefer to stay in hotels or hostels, there are plenty to choose from. Mine looked good and had a great view up front. As per maps, the mountain was about 12 kilometers, that is just under an hour's ride away. So fueling up at the hotel's restaurant before the ride was an obvious choice. But then, this is what happened along the way. Now I've been cycling for around one hour from Sagad and my speed has been around six to seven kilometers per hour on my ride. And these are some extreme cycling conditions for me because it's either very steep or it's very steep along with no roads. This is, this is the good road where I actually stopped for a break but prior to this I had stones stones more stones no roads and there was a stretch where i was just riding on grass between two fields so uh, to be honest there is no defined cycling track between sagar and the place where i'm going so you have to consider it's only 12 kilometers but with this speed it's going to take me two hours to reach there so that's a bummer because I was hoping to be there well in time before the sunset and now it's going to be a little bit tricky but nonetheless the location where I'm at right now I'm a little bit lost because I'm not supposed to go through this but I'd like to show you this it's some kind of you know like a farmland forest land in between and all you see till all the distance is just these small white beautiful flowers with the green uh, plants and it's just like I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a sound of a wind turbine running. Along with that, all you hear is the wind, me talking, and of course some birds. But this is like absolutely stunning. And this is not even like a park. This is just like wild. I decided to stop here, take a drinks break, and then move towards the destination. After battling some really steep tracks and staying lost in the woods for quite a bit, thanks to a lost GPS signal, I was overjoyed to finally see some civilization. Keep your signal was back as well and the next stop was going to be at the chalk mountains itself. Finally, this is the viewpoint for which I've been cycling for around 12 kilometers today and this was the idea of coming to Rugen. There's also like a very nice horizon, clear day today so you can see quite clearly. I'm not sure about the elevation but I'm at decent height. I also learned about an incident that happened here a few years ago wherein a big chunk of chalk came loose and fell down over a group of people who were hanging around by the beach below. 
the chalk totally buried them and few of them were never found again. So guys just be careful and aware about your surroundings when you're taking a walk by that beach below. Apart from this point, this point is called the Victoria point. This is uh, mentioned over there in that stone, that's how I know it. But if you don't want to, I mean this is the next best viewpoint. There is another one which is right at the edge of that. But if you want to look at that, then you have to shell out 10 euros. So if you don't want to spend 10, 10 euros and you still want to have a good view, this is a good view for me. And this is free. Victoria Point is free. And the other point, I don't really know what it is, but for that you need to shell out 10 euros per adult and for children it's something else. So this is more or less the reason why I came to Yugem and now I'll find my way back to the city and on the way back maybe there'll be another stopover at another city which is something with S, Staishin or well, I'll just uh, write it down on the on the on the screen so it's easier because my pronunciation is like all screwed up so anyways this is quite a nice view nice viewpoint so this is definitely worth a visit next up Zasnitz the sun will soon be setting and that was the end of yet another day of cycling and exploring in Germany it was quite nice because as compared to the first part of the day where it was just like uphill up in and like really uh, difficult cycling experience the second part the next 80 kilometers which was a different route the whole way was sloping down going like really fast and at times I even clocked around 45 kilometers an hour without pedaling so you can you can see or you could guess what it would have been like now I'm on the waterfront of this city it's incredible yet again I was also cycling around that road going all the way at the edge and then going a bit further I was hoping to see the uh, the chalk mountains from here as well but after a while there are like a lot of trees and stuff and I did not want to go ahead any further because it was not possible using a site. Sausnitz is a small coastal city and it's only a short walk to the center from both the bus and the train station. The town itself is on cliffs above the harbor and the main attraction is a U-boat museum. I enjoyed my short trip here. The vibe was relaxing, views were stunning and the swing definitely fun. So on that note I conclude this video leaving you with a lovely view of the Baltic Sea. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always keep exploring, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.